What's up, West Park? I'm Jacob. And I'm Brandon. And, and welcome, welcome back to another episode of West Park TV. In today's show, we'll have some short announcements, a segment about West Park electives, a new Ronin on the Run, and a piece celebrating our jazz band. This week, West Park is celebrating Spread the Love Week. Each day, we will have a new theme for students to participate in. Monday was Self Care Monday, where students came to school in their pajamas. Yesterday was Valentine's Day. Today, we wear pink. Tomorrow will be Dynamic Duo Day, where you could twin with someone. And lastly, on Friday, we have Floral Friday, where anything with flowers on it. Seniors, this is yet another reminder to complete your personal finance course. If it's not finished by the due date, well, we'll be seeing you next year. This Friday, West Park will be holding our second annual Unified Sports Kickball Tournament to promote social inclusion. Last year's was a blast, so make sure to come out again and support your Panthers. Opening ceremonies will begin at 9.50 a.m. at the West Park Stadium. Today at 4 p.m., there is a free showing of the student-directed One Act. Tickets are also available for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. If you want to see comedy, romance, or me getting really mad at Jacob Carlson, come see the show. Guess who's back? Ronan in the fan favorite segment, Ronan on the Run. This week, Ronan takes on Valentine's Day. I have a question. Do you want this apple? Sure. Do you prefer getting chocolate or non-chocolate candies on Valentine's Day? Chocolate? Why? Just a big, just a big chocolate guy. Uh, both angles, huh? Is this even for the school? <laughs> like, no. I love chocolate. Why? Chocolate's my favorite. Why? I like the cocoa beans. I mean, chocolate, I guess, because like it's good. I don't know. I mean, chocolate or non-chocolate? Chocolate. I said. Cho I think chocolate's the move. Just think about it. February, fresh out of winter. What do you want? You want chocolate? It keeps you warm and stuff. Yeah. Thank you. What's up, West Park? What's up, West Park TV? Hello, Dre. Chocolate. Why? Shout, shout out to Willy Wonka. You know what I'm saying? If you watch that movie, chocolate is very natural and healthy for you. Wise words. Not chocolate. Why? I like sour candy. Like, you know, like Sour Patch Kids? Yeah. Celebrity Crush. Ariana Grande. Oh, the, the mom from Ginny and Georgia. What's her name? Georgia. Yeah, Georgia. Georgia. Uh, my celebrity crush is Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant. Oh, that's a good one. But isn't that a good thing that it's in the trash? None, because celebrities are kind of overrated. Actually, you know what? Probably you. Me? Probably you. Me? I feel honored. Thank you. <sighs> Dylan O'Brien, he's the hottest man alive. Uh, except Brayden. Yeah, it's Ryan Reynolds. Uh, Ryan Reynolds. Also, also you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sofia Vergara, she could be my mother if she wants to. Janet Jackson. Janet Jackson. So you have a couple of Valentine's Days under your belt, right? What's the best gift you've gotten so far? Books. Books? What's about the worst one? Flowers. Flowers. Is it too basic? Do you like your girlfriend? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, she's pretty cool. West Park TV. And now, back to our regularly scheduled program with our weekly sports report. Thanks, Brandon. This is what we got going on for this week's sports report. On Tuesday, we had a senior night for the boys' soccer against Placer. We ended up winning 3-1. to one. Sorry, Placer. Congratulations to Jack Keneally, Brandon Lee, Landon Smith, and Loudon Langley on a successful senior night. On Wednesday, boys basketball had a rematch with the Placer Hillman. JV kept the sweep going, blowing Placer out of the water with an impressive 69-32 win. Varsity unfortunately couldn't get the edge out of Hillman this time and was defeated in a crushing 80-51 loss. On Thursday, our girls basketball team faced a off against the Lincoln Zebras for their last game of the season. And although JV took off on the Zebras with a 38-26 to win, unfortunately, Varsity couldn't seem to follow in their footsteps. On Friday, boys basketball played the Lincoln Zebras on their last home game of the season. Uh, 
so far it's been a terrific season in a lot of ways. Uh, overall record going into the last week is 18-6. Um, we've come together uh, after not having a lot of time in preparation, like uh, maybe we would if, if I had been here last year, or coming together and learned a whole new system, a new way of doing things. I couldn't be prouder of, of the, not just the varsity team, but the program as a whole. enjoying my West Park basketball experience. Hopefully it can go on for a little bit longer in the playoffs. Um, we've had a lot of fun, great van rides, obviously a great record, much better than the last season. And yeah, we've had a lot of fun so far. My West Park basketball experience has been pretty fun. I've played with the same guys for about three years now, so it's just cool that we have this culture and chemistry on the court. So yeah, it's been, it's been pretty fun. It's been good so far. Uh, I think we're doing a lot better than last year. Uh, we already have 18 wins, and I think we're just looking forward to the playoffs. I think my experience has been good so far. Um, I'm actually a transfer, but uh, overall it's been pretty fun out there. You know, as I was saying, being together as a team, I think that's strong for us. We're, you know, even even in down games, we're always trying to hype each other up and get going. Defense! Defense! I would hope that our players feel like we're teaching life lessons and that their families would feel like that. Teaching things like perseverance uh, in the face of adversity, uh, character in the face of adversity, work ethic, uh, and just the idea that each and every day we need to set a standard for what we want to do. And we want to try and live up to that standard each and every day. We also have the Frost boys soccer team go head to head against Mira Loma for their last game of the winter season. On Saturday, we hosted the Boys Wrestling D3 Divisional Championship. Wrestling had an amazing season and was so fun to host an event like this. I would also like to give a huge shout out to our three senior signings. Devin Dillon, who signed as an OT to Colorado Pueblo State University. Then we have Madison Ham, who is signing to Grand Canyon U University as a midfielder. Last but definitely not least, who signed to Stanford University. Erica Grillion as a forward. Congratulations and good luck at the next level. Now that's all I have for this week. I'm Manny Salgado reporting for West Park TV. Back to you guys. Thanks for the report. This week we wanted to highlight some of the many great electives West Park has to offer. Today we'll be taking a deep dive into game design and outdoor adventures. Well, this is Game Design 2. This is where we do all the art and the animation. It's basically a digital art class built around making assets for video games. So right now we're starting our attack animations. So we're starting some punching and kicking, mostly with, with very low fidelity sprites right now, and then we're going to apply those same techniques to more complete characters later. They should expect to be challenged. We do really complicated things in groups. We, we suffer together, and we, we make cool stuff. I think I was mostly put here for counseling, but I started enjoying uh, this class um, the more I, uh, the more I uh, worked on the stuff here. I think the teacher, Mr. Batista, he's kind of a nerd, so I can make the, like, the goofiest references about any video game and talk about it with him, and he would know what I'm talking about. It's just always fun. It does never feel like super tedious or boring or something you don't really want to do. Uh, it's always like something fun and interesting. Outdoor Adventure is a class where students would expect to have a hands-on experience. They are going to actively engage in things like fishing and archery, um, but also in our hiking and our backpacking units. Kids are going to be uh, participating in both field trips and in learning opportunities where they'll get hands-on experience filtering water, uh, learning how to start a fire with minimal uh, supplies things of that nature where they're really going to experience the outdoors and get a chance to do it on their own um, so they have the skill heading off into the wilderness. Well I've always wanted to go with fishing. Many people in my family have gone fishing and camping and stuff like that so I've always wanted to do it myself. Uh, just all the things that you get to learn in hands-on experience you know because it's different to learn it like online but here you can actually experience the things yourself. Our very own jazz band has some exciting news to share with West Park. Here's more on what went down.
The West Park Jazz Band is fairly new, but their future is already looking bright. At both the Folsom and Wood Creek Jazz Festivals, they earn unanimous superior ratings. The band placed at both festivals, including first in their division at Wood Creek. I caught up with the band director, Patrick Neff, to hear more. Jazz Band here at West Park is a zero period class that meets year round. We play in a big band setting, so that means we have saxophones, trombones, trumpets, as well as rhythm section, you know, piano, bass, drums, and guitar. Jazz is an all encompassing genre, so that means that we play swing charts blues, Latin, and funk, and we play at jazz festivals as well as performances here on campus. So over the last few weeks we played at both the Folsom Jazz Festival and Wood Creek Jazz Festival. They've been working really hard on getting these festival sets ready, and what was really cool is not only did they bring the music to life, but the adjudicators really thought they did a great job. What's up, Panthers? It's your activities director, Mr. Kentris, coming at you with some incredible news for today after school. At four o'clock, we have the first premiere of by the drama department's performance of One Axe. That's right, One Axe kicks off today at four o'clock. And guess what, Panthers? It's free for students. So make sure you hit up One Axe and support your fellow students. Then, that's about an hour and a half long. Guess what? At six o'clock, girls soccer hosts the second round of playoffs against what, what some might say is a rival, Oakmont at six o'clock in the second round of playoffs. So you're gonna wanna be there. And then, not to stop right there, at seven o'clock, boys basketball hosts Christian Brothers for their playoff game. So we have one axe at four o'clock, girls soccer at six o'clock, and boys basketball at seven o'clock. Then, we have a special deal for you. Athletics and activities are coming together to pay for the first 100 students that bought a ticket and go to the girls' soccer game, we will pay for you to go to the boys' basketball game. That's right. If you're one of the first 100 West Park High School students that buy a ticket and go to the girls' soccer game, we will give you a wristband and we will pay for you to go to the boys' basketball game. Now, you may be asking yourself, Mr. Kentris, what's the claw theme for tomorrow? We're going old school. Claw shirts. So that's right. We're saying wear a claw shirt, pack one axe, then jump over the girls' soccer game, pack the stadium, then jump over the boys' basketball game, and pack the arena. Mr. Kentris, I lost my claw shirt. I don't have a claw shirt. Guess what? At lunch today, we're doing a flash sale for claw shirts. Claw shirts are five bucks today at lunch. Make sure you come by, grab your claw shirt before they run out. So once again, one more time, one axe at four, girls' soccer at six, boys' basketball at seven. We hope to see you tonight. That about wraps it up for this week, Panthers. Follow our Instagram for more content. And don't forget to go for gold! gold.